Leilani Binjuda. I'm from the Torres Strait. Binjuda originates from Indonesia. Uh, our great grandfather came across um, as part of the pearling and fishing um, industry, and he married a local lady from here. My Christian name, Leilani, was given to me from my mother's mother who wanted to maintain our links to the Pacific because we also have Nauaian blood. And my father, who was a betting man, named me after a horse in 1974 at the Caulfield Cup that then won the Melbourne Cup. So I'm named after a racehorse. I grew up in Cairns and then went to university in Rockhampton. Ten years ago, I uh, took up the opportunity to work with foreign affairs and trade. The Torres Strait Treaty, uh, which is an agreement between Australia and Papua New Guinea, and it encapsulates the traditional rights and customary rights of traditional inhabitants. Uh, for the Western Province coastal villages, there are 13, and in the Torres Strait, there are 14 communities that fall within the treaty zone or the Torres Strait protected zone. And so I'm working with traditional inhabitants on both sides of the border to maintain that level of security and safety we once enjoyed. The Torres Strait Treaty Liaison Office. We actually have nine agencies that help implement uh, the treaty on ground. Um, that's both federal, state and local government. So there's a multitude of agencies that help us draw together and coordinate um, the issues under the treaty. And, and that is we cover immigration, border protection, fisheries, the environment, health and traditional inhabitant issues. The most important ingredient to everything that we do under the treaty is the liaison and discussions that we have with traditional inhabitants on both sides of the border. Because at the end of the day, the treaty works because traditional inhabitants make it work. The connections between Australia and Papua New Guinea, or the Torres Strait and Western Province in particular, expands thousands of years, 6,000 years plus. It's evolved and it has come to, to be a modern day experience, if you like, for traditional inhabitants. Right in the thick of it. We live it and breathe it every day. Mm -hmm.